Hi, my name is Charles and I'm the surgeon at Southpaws. Today I'm going to talk to you about a partial maxillectomy, uh, which was performed to remove a fibrosarcoma from the jaw of a dog. In addition, we performed a temporary carotid li uh, artery ligation in order to prevent hemorrhage during surgery. If you have any questions about this, please post them. Thanks. A ventral midline cervical approach is made uh, to expose the carotid arteries. The sternohyoideus and sternothyroideus muscles are separated. A large galpy retractor is used to maintain retraction of the muscles. The carotid artery is isolated using right angle forceps and exteriorized. And then we need um, silk cubes you've got and some hair <coughs> snaps. A piece of O silk is passed around the carotid artery. The same procedure is repeated on the opposite side. A Rommel tourniquet is created by passing a piece of 8 to 10 French urinary catheter through the skin. Both ends of the silk are passed through the piece of urinary catheter to create a Romo tourniquet. A hemostat is used to grasp the suture material as it exits the urinary catheter. The same procedure is repeated on the opposite side. The incision is closed in routine fashion. Immediately before starting the maxillectomy, the rumel tourniquets are pulled tight and affixed in place using the hemostats. The position of the patient is changed and a chyloplasty is performed in order to expose the uh, maxilla.
the freely movable gingiva is separated from the maxilla uh, and uh, the area close to the tumor with great care being taken to uh, avoid contaminating surgical margins with tumor cells. Large maxillary vessels should be identified and ligated uh, prior to transection. In this area, the zygomatic arch is isolated and an osteotomy is performed using an oscillating saw. The osteotomy is continued using the oscillating saw at a distance of three centimeters away from any visible tumor. The osteotomy uh, of the palatine bone is performed using a very sharp osteotome and a mallet. The piece of bone is then separated away from the maxilla and hemorrhage is controlled using ligation. The buccal mucosa is sutured to the palatine mucosa using uh, cruciate sutures of 2O PDS. The upper and lower buccal mucosa is sutured using 2O PDS in a simple continuous pattern.
routine subcutaneous and intradermal sutures are then completed.